Before you check any wire, test any socket or touch a live circuit, there's one tool every electrician and technician must know, the multimeter. But how does it work? Where do the probes go? What setting should you choose? In this video, we will break down exactly how to use a digital multimeter step by step in a way that actually makes sense. Let's start from the beginning. A multimeter is a device that measures three main things, voltage, current and resistance. Some models also test continuity, diodes, batteries and even temperature. It's called multimeter because it combines multiple measuring tools into one. Now, before we start testing anything, we need to understand the parts of the multimeter. At the top, we have the digital display. This is where all your measurements appear. In the center, you will find the selector dial. This is the most important part. It allows you to choose what you are measuring, whether it's AC voltage, DC voltage, resistance or something else. Then we have the probes, one red and one black. These are the two wires you will use to connect the multimeter to the circuit. And finally, the ports at the bottom. Let's start with something simple, measuring the voltage of a battery. Turn the dial to the section with a V and a straight line that means DC voltage. Now insert the black probe into common and red into voltage ohm milliampere. Touch the red probe to the positive side of the battery and the black to the negative. If the battery is good, you will see number close to its rated voltage. For example, a 9 volt battery should read around 8.5 to 9.1 volts. Once you are comfortable with DC, you can try AC voltage. Turn the dial to the symbol with a V and a wave that means AC voltage. Now use the same probe positions, red in voltage ohm milliampere, black in common. Carefully insert the probes into a wall socket. In India, you should see something between 220 to 240 volts. This is the most important test for electricians. It tells you whether a circuit is live. Now part 5 which is continuity test. It tests that is the wire ok? But sometimes a wire looks fine but doesn't work. That's where the continuity test helps. Turn the dial to the diode or sound wave symbol. Now touch the two probes together. You should hear a beep. That means the circuit is complete. Now test a wire or a fuse by touching both ends. If it beeps, the path is complete. If it doesn't beep, the wire is broken inside. Part 6. Measuring resistance in ohms. Closely related to continuity in resistance measured in ohms. This tells you how much the flow is being blocked. Turn the dial to the ohm symbol. Now place the probes across any resistor, wire or coil. A very high or OL reading means the path is open or damaged. Now comes the tricky part, measuring current. This is different because unlike voltage or resistance, current must be measured in series with the circuit. That means you have to open the circuit and insert the multimeter in line so the current flows through it. Turn the dial to the A settings, either milliampere for small currents or 10 ampere for larger ones. Make sure the red probe is in the correct port. For 10 ampere current, it must be in the 10 ampere socket. Current measurement is very useful, but be careful. Measuring current in the wrong way can damage your meter. Some multimeters also support diode testing. Turn the dial to the diode symbol. Now connect the red probe to the anode and the black to the cathode. If the diode is working, the meter will show a small voltage drop. Reverse the probes and it should show OL, meaning no current is flowing backward. This tells you the diode is functioning properly. So now you have seen how to measure voltage, test wires, check resistance and even measure current. But before we end, remember these 5 safety tips. First, always check and set the dial before connecting the probes. Number 2. Never touch the bare metal of the probes during testing. Third is, don't test resistance or continuity on a live circuit. Number 4. When unsure about voltage range, start from the highest. And the last one is, use the correct ports. Wrong port, wrong setting can damage your multimeter. Remember one this, it's not just a meter, it's your electrical eye. If this video helped you understand the multimeter better, make sure to like it, share it with your friends and subscribe for more practical electrical videos.